Anyway, today's video is gonna be all about refreshing your goals for every single month and just in general, just refreshing your goals. We have now made it pretty much to the end of the second month of this year. I feel like everyone was saying how January was so slow for them and then February, to me anyway, felt like it really just flew by. I mean, I know it's a short month, but just in general, it just seemed like the weeks just disappeared and now here we are getting ready to be at March. So we are almost almost done with the first quarter. We're more than halfway through the first quarter of the year. And I sometimes, I can't help but feel like I'm already behind on the things that I set to do. Um, you guys know I do the power sheets all the time and I have all of these goals that I come up with that I work through throughout the year. And I had like monthly goals for myself that I set up that I'm already behind on and I'm just like, okay, I need to just refresh, you know, sometimes when you are kind of like in the excitement of the new year and just all of those things, you may just start writing down all of this stuff. But then as things start going and you're progressing through your day to day, you'll realize what actually is important, what you want to focus on, what you want to realign with and absolutely what you want to refresh in your mind just to kind of know what you want to focus on moving forward for the next quarter, the next year, the next month, um, whatever that might be for you. So that is what this video is all about. It is about my take on a monthly refresh and you also will get a little freebie download from me as well to help you with this process. And so let's get into the video. See you guys soon. So first of all, I wanna introduce myself. My name is Tatiana. I am the owner of The Stationary Muse and I love to inspire women to go for what they want in their lives. No matter what that may look like for you, whether you wanna start a business, you wanna improve your just general self, you wanna make more time for yourself, you wanna be a better friend, sister, wife, mother, whatever the case is, I'm here to support you and I love to do that through my love of paper goods whenever I can, even though I am definitely a techie at heart and I have not even shared that side of myself with you guys too much. But today we are gonna be doing some pen to paper because that is absolutely my favorite thing by far to refresh our goals for the upcoming month. If you haven't seen my last video, I actually broke my little like phone tripod setup thing that I had going on. So I had to go get this cheapy one from Target to hold me over, but I think I am gonna order an actual like tripod that's like sturdy for me to use for my phone because I do a lot of recording of my videos on my phone. Um, I don't know why I don't use my DSLR. To me, I'm, it's kind of backwards, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. But I apologize if it's shaky or weird or just anything like that. I have it literally balanced on this like plate and some other stuff, so. Just bear with me. And so as I'm filming this video, March is literally a couple of days away. And so I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm really wanting to kind of just realign my goals. I made this amazing little vision board over here that I look at every day when I walk in this office. And I wanna make sure that what I have in my head is aligning with my vision board. And it's also just still something that is relevant to me and that I wanna do. So this is my little PDF that I have of course this is my printed one but you guys can get the link right down below just click the link put in your name and email and then it will come right to your inbox but what I love about this is it's just very simple I kept it gray so that way if you want to add stickers or colorful pins highlighter anything like that you have the option to do that and so on the screen you'll be able to see it a little bit clearer but basically there are a couple of sections so first you have where it just says monthly refresh at the top and you can write on there the actual month if you want on that line it's kind of like a decorative line but feel free to put whatever you want up there you could put like a phrase that's going to keep you motivated for the next month ahead or anything like that and then we get into these three different focuses so what I feel like the focuses should be is just what is really needing a little bit of a shift for you. What have you noticed so far that you really haven't put as much attention towards as you really liked or that you fell off of? You know, I know a lot of us, we kind of started the year off wanting to get more physically fit, for example. Um, I was doing so well. I was doing yoga like nonstop pretty much every day for most of January and a little, no, just most of January. And um, then I had some issues that I kind of ran into um, 
some personal stuff and then I just kind of like let it go and I didn't pick it back up. Um, the other day I did finally do some yoga after like weeks of not doing it and I was really proud of myself but I still have not picked it back up. So one thing I wanna do is just kind of refresh exactly what I'm trying to do as far as my working out, why I wanna do it and what is gonna maybe be my next couple of steps for getting started with that. And then another focus of mine, I think I want it to be relationships. So I find it to be so difficult sometimes, even though we have the best intentions to stay in contact with our friends and our family and stuff like that. Sometimes we just get caught up in the hustle bustle of life. It's just how it is. And so um, my best friend actually reached out to me, my best friend of, I don't know, how long have I known her? We've known each other since 2013. I'm horrible at math, but... No, what am I talking? Not 2013. I've known her since 2003. So that means we've known each other for like 17 years, I think. Am I accurate with my counting? Let me see, because now I'm going to be wondering. I think, yeah, we've known each other for 17 years, which is crazy. But she reached out to me the other day and she was like, hey, I work from home on Wednesdays. I think we should possibly look into um talking on wednesday mornings you know before like the day gets crazy and stuff let's make a calendar invite let's schedule it and i literally was that was something that i wanted to reach out to her about but it was just like on my list and i kept wanting to get to it and kept saying like let's schedule the day to talk let's schedule the day to talk and it's not just her there's a couple of other friends that i want to do this with as well and so it kind of put some fire up under me now we have our talk going on we're doing it and i want to implement this with some other people in my life because i don't want them to ever feel like i don't care like i don't have time for them and if i actually am intentional about that that is gonna be so important to me. So that's my focus number two, is just kind of working on a way to start incorporating the relationships with people in my life a little bit better that was on my list. And so I wanna make sure that I'm doing that. And focus number three for me is definitely my faith. And just in general, aligning that with my everyday routine not making excuses for doing whatever i choose to do um, praying uh getting into the word listening to sermons from i love transformation church like all that stuff i kind of have just relied on myself you know and just kind of not really let go of the things that are on my mind it makes me stressed um, it's led me to even more worry and just things that I wouldn't have imagined. So I really just want to realign with that focus of faith. And so I wanted to share those three with you guys because, you know, get creative as far as what you really want to focus on. Think deep. I always say that. Don't think so surface level of like, oh, I need to clean this kitchen. or Oh, I want to do this. Like really think deep. What would make you a better person? What would make you happier? Um, that's what this refresh can be about. And from there, you can kind of build on everything else and you'll be able to work on all the other additional to do's and all of those things so one of those things is you've been trying to start a business you guys know I'm big on entrepreneurship if you've been trying to start a business and you've just been like putting it off you haven't looked into the platform you want to use you haven't started doing the research you haven't um, designed anything yet or whatever the case is stop putting it off just go ahead and make your first three steps I'm so big on all of this stuff you guys um, just make those first three steps it's just so just you already feel empowered just by doing that because you're like okay i'm already kind of like taking some action i said take I, the, i'm already kind of taking some action i took a moment i sat down and now i'm gonna get started so i just wanted to point that out for all of my entrepreneur ladies out there because i know there's a lot of you um that are starting to follow me which i love so with that being said, basically you have your three focuses. So once you get those marked on the page, then you will wanna move on to those three steps. So the three steps can be something as simple as, let's use one of mine, for example. So if I wanted to, let's go with focus number two. So that was about my relationships with my friends. So just like how my friend reached out to me, I can literally make a list of the names. It could be the three names and I will make a intention to send them a text or give them a call and say, hey, we need to keep start catching up with each other more. Let's schedule a time weekly, bi-weekly, whatever, monthly, whatever works for, you know, like if you guys are doing something similar um, for us so that we can stay regularly in touch with each other. And it's not like all this time goes by where I'm like, well, I didn't know you had that going on and all that stuff. Um, so I might put down like, OK, send texts out actually make calendar invites because I think that's a great idea with all of the busy schedules and just hold myself accountable so when that time comes up 
that is my time with that person. Even if it's for 15 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever you agree on or I agree on with them, that is the time that I set aside for that and that is intentionally for that friend or that family member. So that would be my three steps. Reach out, make the calendar invite, and be accountable. You know, if it's weekly, then I can definitely hold myself accountable. When it comes up, I'll do it. Then after you make your three steps for each of your focuses, there is a little spot over here for you to just really get creative. I love to have open space to just think. Um, you could put a quote there. You could put an actual, like maybe a major project that you wanna put in here that you wanna break out a little bit further. You could literally put some dates here and say like, okay, I wanna have this completed by X date or whatever the case is, or I need to maybe in addition to like these first three steps, I need to also research this or whatever the case. So this little box is for you to use however you see fit. But I just love, like I said, just open space and just gives you room to kind of make something your own and make it work in your life how you want to. That is the refresh. It's very simple. It's to the point. And I wanted to just create this for you if you are kind of feeling like you are already behind, which you're not, by the way. I think we can get so caught up in that as well. There's always time to grow and improve and work on the goals and even like refocus. If maybe you thought you wanted to go one route, but you're kind of deciding like, ah, I think I might want to lean over this way. Whatever the case, that is what the refresh is to check in, see what is working, what's not working and all that fun stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you click that link down below if you would like to get this check-in. It's super easy. It's a cute little PDF download that you guys can get. You can use this every single month. You could use it every quarter, however you want. And also, oh, oh shoot, I forgot I was making some fries, y'all. I need to go get my fries out of the oven. I was like hearing this beeping in the background and I'm like, what the heck is that? So I'm gonna go get my fries. But again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week. I am gonna officially announce an upload schedule. I've been kind of toying around with it, but I really just wanna make sure that I'm able to stick to it. I've been playing with, and you guys may kind of notice what it is just based off of when I've been uploading. But regardless of the fact, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and especially if you are planning on doing this refresh. And let me know down below, what are one of the focuses that you need to work on for this upcoming month? What is something that you've been putting off, but you're ready to start getting into it and you really want to get those first couple of steps down in the month of March? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.